This is Ships in Distress on a Stormy Sea by Jan Porcellus. Jan Porcellus was a Dutch marine artist. These are some of her other paintings. The painting depicts multiple ships during a very harsh storm while they're out at sea. This painting may bring about emotions such as confusion, anger, hopelessness, stress, passion. It's a very powerful painting. During World War II, it was in the possession of Max Stern. Max Stern was a Jewish art dealer who was persecuted by the Nazis. He was forced to liquidate his gallery and flee Germany. Ships in Distress on a Stormy Sea is now in the possessions of the Max Stern Foundation. The Max Stern Foundation is working towards reclaiming most, if not all, of the lost art that Stern was forced to abandon. Ships in Distress on a Stormy Sea rightfully belongs to the Max Stern Foundation because the Foundation has continued Stern's search even after his death in honor of Max Stern and his loss during the Nazi occupation. Max Stern was the youngest of three children. He had two sisters, Heidi and Gerda. Max Stern was born April 18, 1904, to Julius and Selma Stern. Max Stern studies art history at the universities of Berlin, Cologne, Bonn, and Vienna. In 1928, he obtained a PhD in art history from Bonn University. Stern worked alongside his father at the family gallery in Dusseldorf. After the death of Max Stern's father, he becomes the sole proprietor of the gallery in Dusseldorf. The rise of Nazism and anti-Semitism in Germany prevents Stern from working as an art dealer. Stern is forced to close the Dusseldorf gallery in 1937 and, has, and had to sell 228 of the gallery's paintings in Cologne. His own and his mother's personal collection are left on consignment with Joseph Roggendorf, also in Cologne who is prohibited from taking them outside of Germany. Two agencies, including the Gestapo, confiscate most of these works in 1937 and 1941. Max Stern leaves Germany in December 1937, visiting Gerda, one of his sisters, and her family in Paris. He then arrives to London on January 25, 1938, where he joins his sister Heidi at her gallery, the West Gallery. The gallery in London is closed after Great Britain declares war on Germany. Stern, who is considered a civilian alien, is detained in an internment ship on the Isle of Man in between Ireland and England. He is then interned in Canada in July 1940. After an internment of nearly two years, Stern is able to settle in Montreal. In December, Rose Millman found the Dominion Gallery of Fine Art in the Kiefer Building, 1448 St. Catherine Street West. Stern's expertise impresses Rose Millman and makes him director of the Dominion Gallery of Fine Art in October of 1942. On January 15, 1946, Stern marries Iris Esther Westerberg in New York. He then goes to London to recover many of his paintings in his large library. In 1947, Max and Iris Stern take over the own ownership of the Dominion Gallery. And then in 1950, the Dominion Gallery moved to 1438 Sherbrooke Street West. In 1978, Iris Stern dies in Palm Beach, Florida. On May 30th, 1987, Max Stern dies of a heart attack on a business trip to Paris. <clears throat> the Dominion Gallery then remains in operation under Michael Moral, the gallery's assistant director, in the supervision of the Max and Irish Stern Foundation, as Stern wished. Stan Stern handed over his private collection to the Canadian Museums, the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts, and the Museum of Contemporary Art of Montreal, two museums in the United States, and the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. In December of 2000, the Dominion Gallery changes hands. The Stern Estate gives the archives to the National Gallery of Canada.
In 2016, the German Federal Crime Office found landscapes with goats for sale in a gallery in Hamburg in May. That painting now joins ships in distress on Stormy Sea, which was recovered by an auction house in Heidelberg due to an anonymous tip in July. The pair has been returned to the Max Stern Foundation. The person selling the works claimed not to know about the roots. They are amicable when returning the paintings and did not put up a fight. The amount of compensation they received for the works, if any, was not disclosed. The Max Stern Art Restitution Project was launched in 2006 for the purpose of recovering works from Stern's collection that Stern was forced to give up during the Nazi occupation of Germany during World War II. 16 of 400 of the lost works have been found thus far.